All right, so today's task, I'm building a fence for Sally. Meet Sally. She's a hyper nervous dog who needs some room to run outside. So I'm looking for an economical way to give this little mutt a dog run. That's my plan for today. All right, it's a beautiful day and I've got a project ahead of me. I'm thinking somewhere in this backyard, I'm gonna set up that dog run. So the first thing I'm gonna do is look for the location. And I'm thinking probably about a either a 10 by 10 or a 20 by 20. Little dog, little dog run. There they are. Okay. See out there? What you call a hand? Yes. Oh. We're gonna give you a spot to run, girl. Oh, oh. Yeah, this dog needs a, needs to run it off. I think right here would be the place. What? Right here. Okay, pretty good here. You like this? Oh, pretty here. I don't care where it is. Because in the back there, it's, it's... Well, I was talking about under the tree there, then it's a shade. See? All right. From here to there. So I'm thinking... Oh, I'm one. thinking 10 by 10 by 10. You could start under here. Well, see what I was thinking at one point. All of it. This is country living, guys. All right, she's not helping me. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, so we start here. One, two, oh, Jesus. Three, four. All right, so here at Lowe's to pick up the gear that we need. All right, we're going in. We're going in. <laughs> well, that one looks a little better. Three feet by 50 feet. Well, that's what I need. $150 later, I've got the makings, hopefully, of a successful 10 by 10 dog run. There is my assistant following me. It's time to get something to eat. All right, so we got it all loaded into the vehicle. Here we go. We have my work gloves to save my dainty hands. Under here is the driver, which the nice guy at Home Depot told me would save me a lot of work. The multipliers, because I need wire cutters, but I'm a man of excess, so we get the whole kit. You got your three foot by 50 vinyl coated wire here, welded wire and 13 posts and i think i'm ready to go all i need now is a burger mm. <laughs> all right so i'm ready to get the dog run the dog cage up we've picked this spot over here because it has shade it's close to the house and it's where my aunt and sally we believe will enjoy it the most she's ready to go now I was forced to do a little bit of math, and if you know anything about me, you know I hate math. All right, so I bought a three foot by 50 foot fence, and I wanna make a square, and I wanna be economical with it and give Sally the most bang for her buck. So I figured 12 by 12, doing the math, four sides, that would give me 48 feet. So I just have enough to make a 12 by 12 square in this area. I did math. All right, so I'm gonna be using 12 posts to secure my fence today. I wanna to lay that out first. So I get a sense of where the box is gonna be and if I'm happy with it, you ever hear the old saying, measure twice, cut once? All right, in that line of thought, I'm using these old planters as markers so I can get a sense of where the fence is gonna be and if I like it. I should have put this disclaimer out there earlier. I am not a professional, so don't try this at home. And this is sort of like a, a backwoods, kind of redneck style way. It, and that's insulting the rednecks. It's a, it's a poor man's way of putting this together. Now what I've noticed here in laying these down, it, it's coming together, but it, I can't promise it's gonna be straight. So this is not really a how-to, this is more for entertainment value. Now, the next step is to put in my posts and then all bets are off. It's getting hot and I'm getting tired and cranky. So here are said posts. 
they get driven into the ground past this part here. It's been raining the last few days, so the ground is soft. And that might be a plus for me, as my assistant just pointed out, in driving these stakes into the ground. So uh, let me stop talking and let me get working. All right, so this is a nice piece of equipment that my friend from Lowe's, Jason, I don't remember really what his name was, but Jason's always done good for me, so his name was Jason. So Jason said, get yourself a driver. Now this goes, it fits on top of the, the post and you drive it in. It's supposed to be the easiest way to do it. Jason uses his fencing for cows. <coughs> so again, you use that and you drive it down. So we'll see if, J come on girl, go get some water. He uses his driver and fencing for fencing and cows, and I'm fencing in a little dog about this size. So we'll see. But thank you, Jason and Lowe's. You guys were good. All right, so let's get the show on the road. This is my first post location, and I'm going to use the post out like this in this spot. I'm eyeballing it at this point, guys. I use my handy-dandy driver and get it done. Let's do it. No. This dog is going to owe me, boy. Push it in to get it started. And again, here's the post driver. Goes on the top. That was easy. Jason, look at that. Ha <laughs> ha, only eight more to go. Six more, all right. So I'm down to my last post, guys. And with a little bit of measuring along the way and eyeballing it, I think I've done a reasonable job at making a square. You know, when you were in kindergarten, you never knew the value of being able to draw a square. It's not as easy as it looks, guys. All right, I'm gonna put this last post in and then I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. And then I'll come back to put the fencing on. But you won't see that because I'm gonna edit the break out. All right, last post. A post driver. This is a valuable tool if you're ever putting up this type of fencing and you need to drive using a hammer. I mean, this this is great. It's about $29 at Lowe's. I'm not sure who makes it, but who cares? Saved me about two hours of hard work. And now I'll do a little bit of cleanup, take a break, and come back and do the most important piece putting the fencing around. Okay, so I'm all done with the pet pen, the dog run, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it a jail for Sally. Probably could have done it a little bit better, but hey, when you just got to throw something up quick on the cheap. But you know what? I always like to say the proof is in the pudding. You can take a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. You can take a dog to the dog run, but you might not be able to make it run. So let's see. The proof is in the pudding. Let's see if this works. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Let's see if she tries to get out. Yeah. Wow, look at that. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you have it. But you know what's funny is this is the first time I've ever seen Sally sit still for a, more than a second. But it looks like we have a happy dog a happy owner, and one tired average guy. I want to thank you guys for bearing with me through this video. I'm still trying and learning the Instagram TV model, but I'm kind of digging the vertical image. It's different. It's, it's different. I'm giving myself a lot of headroom, though. I think I'm going to go and uh, find something to eat. As always, I want to thank you for watching. I will see you here again on Instagram TV or on YouTube at the Media Mart. But remember, guys. Remember. 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 I bet Sally will remember. Keep pushing play all day. Right, Sally? Right, girl? You trapped? And again, here's the post driver.